We're live. Hello everyone and welcome to more Mass Builder. So last time we built the God Gundam, the Transient Gundam, and the Epion. All using similar style frames as you can see. So we're going to go ahead today and we're going to make another suit. We're going to start making another three suits. And uh, we'll see how we go here. We've got to tweak things over time. And uh, hopefully we can get things accurate here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start out and do the uh, the paint job. Do the edit style. Hey Benny. Do the paint style. Oh god. I just realised this is paint all. This is uh, paint all. So we'll, we'll cancel out here and see if I can do. Or is it assemble. I want the eyes but it's not. Oh, there we go. Eye flare. With the eye flare first. Save. Right. The frame is dark so that's fine. No, I might be able to sub elements here. We'll do select and we'll do gun metal just so we can make sure it's all uniform or maybe actually dark dark black metal might be good. So then we'll we'll start doing stuff here. I'll do paint effect all armor style and we'll do the uh, custom color or we'll do the the white we'll do the white gloss or white metal. We'll go with that and then we'll we'll work on the different parts here and you guys can see if you can guess while I'm trying to do this what suit we're building here. It's a little bit awkward again because of the way the mass builder works but just gotta deal with it. So see if you can guess which suit this is. In the meantime I'm busy trying to get it right. I think that might work for it. Neck also, let's try that one. Armor, uh, the center here. That's that's a little bit awkward. I might try the classic one that I keep using over and over and over here because the way that it looks, I can break it up. The armor here. We'll keep using this armor is really good for Gundam suits. So we'll do that. The backpack. We'll have it as the uh, the one with the lots of fins on it. That one's cool. And we'll give it the... Finally doing the age three. No, no, no. I'm still doing classic stuff. Well, stuff from like pre-age at the moment. So, give you some hints there as to what it could be. I reckon that one will, uh, will work. The front skirting looks fine. Side skirting though, that's slightly different. It's the God Gundam. No, no, that's the uh, the thumbnail. The thumbnail's the God Gundam. I've already made it, so I'm, uh, I'm making another three today. Let's see what we got here. Already done God. Yeah. You can't get any better than God at this rate. Right, this is going to be awkward because of the colour separation, so we'll uh, we'll try it anyway. I might have to do the, the other version of this. In fact, it might actually work better. Hey, Gundam guy. Let's, let's try the alternate version of this. We'll try... That we got. That's okay. That's fine. This bit. I'll put it as... So let's put it as that. That might be a little bit more accurate based on what I've got here. Got hand covers. Welcome back, everybody. Hope you enjoy, as usual. We got this sort of... Knee armor, so we'll just that on. We're almost done here. Then it's more or less just the colors. It's crazy how quick these uh, these suits come together now because of the uh, the new ability to just paint everything. Yeah, we are done. So now we go through. We'll, uh, we'll paint the feet up instead of going all into the, uh, the face and everything first. Don't want to give it away too early in the game. So do that and then we'll do dark red like we normally do. Some Gundams are a giveaway because of the uh, the feet, but because this is red like the classic ones, it's not too much of a giveaway. So then we go up here. That's fine. I would have split the, uh, the hand covers up, but that is fine. But this one, I need I need some of this to be different. Right, we'll, uh, we'll start giving it away here because this will be a little bit awkward. Let's try that. Not many suits have that kind of thing going on. And we'll uh, we'll also do the other bit here. That was that was a really weird choice, but it's 
how the design is, so we'll just go with it. And then we've got... I'm guessing it would go faster if you could colour first and then build it. No, I don't know. No offence to the devs, but there are some armors I won't ever be using, says Benny. I know, right? Some of them nobody will use, but... Some others will get used quite a lot. I think... I can get away with... If I do this, this is going to be a bit different, but... Actually, no, maybe if I do that one as... I don't have the... It doesn't save some of the, uh, the colors here. So if I do that, and then have that as... Actually, that might work. And then we've got the rear skirt, which I think... Actually, that's not the rear skirt. Let's do that as... Thumbnail is, is God Gundam, says Mask Hakuin. Yes, it is. This is the destiny. No. Classic Gundam's goal. It seems hard, says Gundam guy. I know, right? But yeah, this is not the uh, anything to do with seed. Trust me, I have all the reference here. John says, evening, boys. Hey, John. Sometimes this is a giveaway. Sometimes it isn't. We're working our way up as well, which doesn't help you guys. Some people that are really good at guessing will uh, will obviously figure this out. Or the uh, the ones that notice the colours. I've got the, the reference right here. As normal, I do this all with an iPad next to me with a reference. So I can easily tell you guys that this is not anything to do with seed or anything after seed. There's your little hint as to what this could be. So if you're thinking after seed, it's uh, it's not a good thing. Just realise that's gonna. Actually, that might be better as blue. Zeta? No. That's a little bit too early. That gives you another sort of idea of where this is from. Zeta isn't that blue. <laughs> yeah. Now these these would have been different if I'd have been doing the other color variant, but because of this, I can't really change too much. So what I'm gonna do is instead. Gonna only make slight changes here. Instead of being white, we'll do. We'll do like cobalt or something, or even grey. We'll do the, do the metallic grey there. GPO one? No, no. The double O riser? No. Double O riser would have had a different backpack. Right, so that is the the bottom section there is white. That's fine. Here's where it'll, it has no V fin. We are. Uh, we can't get V-Fin in this, so we just have to kind of make one up as we go, unfortunately. It'll be a little bit of a giveaway as I start doing the torso here. Benny says solo wing. No, no, no. Although, you're close. You're so close. If somebody can name it properly, you instantly win. I've got to get this just right. All these decals don't mean anything. I'm just trying to get this based on... Uh, what is this? The X Gundam? No. No, no, no. We can't get the satellite cannon on this, which is unfortunate. Uh, uh, is this all right? That bit needs to be red. People are getting really close. I've probably taken some of these comments wrong. We are getting up to the head now. Wing Zero, says Gundam Guy. Yes, correct. The King Gundam. No. It's not any of the Unicorn Gundams. Wing Zero custom. Right, let's see if we can... Uh, we can get this looking right here. Never seen Wing, says Mask. Wing's okay. I, I, I go through this constant phase of, like, ripping on it and then not ripping on it, so I'm kind of all over the place with it. Like, sometimes I'll point out its faults because it does have them, but it is pretty fun. So there we go. we got the side of the head there. And then we've got the, the top, which 
It's split up. We try and emulate the V-fin a different way. So we've got the uh, the top there, and then we've got the sides here, which are going to be yellow. And those kind of... Actually, no, not the top, because it doesn't have it like that. Normally, we, we try and get the, uh, the V-fin in there by doing the little sides on the head there. It's pretty hard to get a Gundam head in this, but I think that's just because of copyright. So we've got green gloss on the front there, and then the face... Finishes off with the uh, the traditional sort of dark black, so we can see the eyes. Then we've got the green here. Bang, there we go. And then the red chin. TV or Endless Worlds? Endless Worlds. I wonder if you can build the F91. We probably can, to be honest. I can try later on if you want. That looks as close as I can get to Wing Zero. Based on the, uh, the artwork for the... Uh, I think this is the master grade I'm looking at. Oh no, the, yeah, yeah, the master grade. So if we uh, we take this out now, TV or EW, this is the endless waltz one. So what we'll do is we'll rename this uh, Wing Zero EW. We've got to select it, and we've got to give it massive amounts of uh, firing, and we also have to give it weapons as well. So we'll just go here for. Capacity, acceleration. We'll give it charged engine and then we'll try giving it loads of like piercing or whatever else. Let's try. I want something that gives it quite a lot of stats overall, but heat turbines just give it fuel capacity. So maybe if I go. Maybe micro microcontroller one. Heat turbines two. And then what have we got here? Mag cap. Microcontroller 2 might work with that. OS will do... Ooh, let's have a look. Fuel burn rate would be lowered there. So maybe if I do enhanced skeletal OS. Are you going to go super lasers or single rifle? I'm going to have to just try and go whatever. Because of the way that this game works. Or the demo, I should say. Matt says... I think you could do the Weithel from Xenogears. I think I've pronounced that wrong or not. We did that one a while back. I'm sure we did that one a while back before they, uh, they brought out the new demo. Because we've done quite a lot of suits. I'm trying to, uh, trying to have a look at what won't drastically lower my fuel burn rate here. The problem is, like, fuel save there, and then we've got all these other ones that really impact stuff. Shield from 90, 97 for sustainable shields. Enhancements gives me a lot of like plasma and everything. But it lowers the uh, the fuel. So if I go shield. Shields 2 would lower my fuel again. I don't want to lower them too much. Maybe if I do long range there. And then architect. If I do. Let's see. Combat reinforcer. Siege. Cannoner. Striker. Let's, let's try overtaker. And then we'll try. We've got Accuracy, Kinetic, Force Dispersal 1, that'll do. What have we got here? Magazine Load, no. Outer Coating, that'll give us more health. And then we'll try Accuracy Targeting 2, and we'll, we'll take that out. Wing was fuel efficient. I mean, the red version of the White Hill. Ah, right, yeah, we've not done that. Gundam Guy says, it's about time for me to go to bed. See you later, guys. See you later, Gundam Guy. So now we've got to do the uh, the weapons here, of which we can't really do too many because of the way this is. So we've got the uh, the rifle. The, the Wing Zero's rifle is not like that, so I don't want to use that. The problem is the bazooka thing, it's not going to match up. That's the only problem with this. So I can either take the smaller rifles, or I can take the bigger one. Try the new Gundam. I can try the new Gundam. We did the, um, the NT one. That was cool. Right, so we'll do the, the beam sabers here because it has green beams. So we'll uh, take out this. Go. We'll go for the, the long, thick beam saber this time instead. We'll do paint. We'll paint. I can't remember whether the, the beams on. Well, the, uh, the handle bits were white. Oh, yeah, I remember because this is. That will go for. Custom 1, we'll edit style, custom 1. 
because it has green beams. So we'll do that and we'll try and make them reflective. We'll leave it like that. And then... The rifle is like news anyway, yeah. The only thing I can do here is try taking the bazooka out and just have it have heat damage or even like electrical might work. Where is it? The problem with that is that it looks nothing like the uh, the actual one, like not even if you put that on the end. So we're just going to have to take this bazooka thing out for a spin and do that. Um, so we'll do paint here. We'll do it all in this kind of... black and then we'll we'll do tiny bits of it in like dark grey if we can or maybe go metal just to drop the lighting a little bit and the same with this if we paint it black metal then maybe do those bits the there's yellow that's as, that's as close as I can get it. Right, so we'll do the mission and we'll uh, we'll see how this goes. I love the way it's just going to show the, uh, the name of the suit in the bottom left as well. There we go. I imagine they didn't have much in the way of funnels in this game. No, they have, they have some funnels, but they're not amazing. Here we go. Mission okay, I like the way this is looking so far. That's pretty neat. Let's see how this guy handles. Oh, jeez. He's pretty fast. He's pretty fast. I say that. He's all over the place. In terms of oh, jeez. <laughs> Speed-wise, this guy is insane. And his energy comes back really fast. Let's... Doesn't really hurt too much like that, which is unfortunate. Speedy Boy is incredibly speedy, but his weapon doesn't pack as much punch as it would normally. Where's my Zakus? Don't get Zakus in this, not yet. He can see all the possible futures. The Zero System's not been engaged yet. He is really fast, though. It's actually pretty crazy how fast he is. I just annihilated, like, two units before they even... Well, two enemies before they even saw me, though. Jeez! We just Can I get more cannon ammo from that. There we go. Burn the game. <laughs> nah, it's just a demo, it's cool. They are putting mono eyes into it eventually. It's in the work in progress. Have a Gundam game without Zeon. It's not really a Gundam game as such. It's more of a Gundam maker. Have you done the Easy Eight? No, I haven't. I can try and do it. He's gonna be a bit of a bulky boy. Normally we do three each night, so or whenever I can do the streams. Alex says hi, Mooney. Hello, Alex. Nice to see you again. Trying to eliminate some of these before. The, uh, the frames take a dive. He took a little bit of a dive there. I love the way he bowls over his own alien troops there. Oh, I thought I'd, uh, I'd readied the bazooka then. 
Apparently not. Oof, they do not stand a chance at the moment. This boy is incredibly fast. <laughs> I love the way I saw him coming there with that charge and just immediately avoided that. Can you make the tequila gun in name, says John. You know I can't. You don't have a hat. It'd be cool if I could have uh, a giant mechanical hat. I can make more G Gundam stuff. I might be able to make the Master Gundam now, I'm not too sure. Oh! Oh, lost my shield from that. Drunken suits for everyone. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know that actually does extra damage while you're around him while he's charging. We're just constantly, oh, getting hints in on him. Nope. Oh, that's his special. Oh, oh, God. When he's doing that, that's when he... Fires everything. <laughs> Trying not to get killed. He oh, jeez. Say that and then he does something like that. Can we just keep doing this? Because I, I said I, I would, uh, I would abuse this system to get infinite flight if possible. Oh my god! What did I do there? I was just like constantly spamming. Uh, oh. Boost and, and uh, melee there, I think. Trying not to die here. There we go. Speed makes me think of the Quanta. It was a uh, an interesting bo boss fight. Yeah, I think what I was doing was when you... When you spam run and melee, it puts him in like a, a state where he... He does like a, uh, a thrust. Hang on, where is it? Like that. But I think what I was doing is, because I was spamming that so fast like that, just just together, what I was doing was I was getting, like, multiple lunges. So I was just constantly lunging at him. And, uh, don't think he liked it. The suit needs to be flying at the end. Hang on, three, two, one. There we go. That's a good finishing pose. So that was Wing Zero Custom. The Endless Waltz version. We'll do make another one now. I have a load of them lined up here. New slot. Let's select this. Right, let's pull up the reference here. I have a bunch of them that I want to do in order. Right, this one. This one might be easier for you guys to, uh, to figure out. Because I'm going to do them in just a certain order. Right, let's... Uh, Let's start with joints. Actually, paint. Moody on a random note says zero. Hey, zero. Have you heard the Sonic movie changes? Yeah. Hey, Devisia. Let's see everybody coming in. So now we'll go. I think this is this is green again. I can't get the uh, exact thing that I want. Right, then we affect all armor, select style, and bam, there we go. White metal, that looks so fantastic. It's so easy to do. Right, again, we've said before, we can't get the v fin, so we've got to go with whatever we can here. We'll go with, yeah, I think we'll go with that. That'll work for now. Head. Uh, <laughs> Standard head will do. Okay, next, fine. Torso. Uh, I look for all kinds of shapes in these, so I think that one's going to do. Just the standard one. Chest, this is going to make a difference. Let's try that one. That one will work. That's always got to be the uh, the waist armor now. Backpack, this is where it's going to be telling. Um, 
Actually, it might not be looking at this, just because of the way that it is. I'll, I'll go with that one again. We've got the same backpack for quite a few. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, Gundam. Six book came to support, says Haku. You didn't need to, Rumia. Gusion. No, it's not Gusion. Rumia, if you're not well, don't, like, force yourself. Not good. Right, these bits of armor need to be a little bit more pointy, but I can't see the pointy ones. So we'll just have to stick with that. Might make it more armored though, so we'll uh, we'll mirror this. Is he making the tall geese? No, no. Don't just go off the colors. It's like I've said multiple times, I change colors as I go, so. Just look at the shapes and then look at the colors later on. I'm just trying to get this right here at the moment. Uh, what's that for? That's the shoulders. Okay, the shoulders, that's where it's going to be. Right. This part of the arm is where it's going to be important, so I'm going to need to do... Maybe... Which one was it? I think it was that one? That one might work. Hand cover. Not really got one that's... It's like that maybe... Maybe that... If I can get away with it, or that one? Yeah, we'll go with that one. It's not like super accurate, but it's as accurate as I can get it. Uh, this one. Let's go with that. Legs. It's okay. Take thanks for the, for caring though, says Rubia. You know what I'm like, dude. I was like trying to make sure everybody's okay. <laughs> Don't want anybody coming in and joining and being like, oh, this is terrible, I'm ill. You know, it's like, get some rest. You don't have to watch me. Get some rest if you need it. Leo, no. If it's still a, it's still a demo, yeah. Um, Davici says, I heard about the design changes. To be honest, I wasn't that forced about that aspect in the film. This could be one I haven't seen. No, 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 no. It'll be familiar. Right, we'll, we'll start off again with the colours, so guys, get ready for this. Some of you might be able to do this instantly. This is, this is where it really comes together now. A lot of people have said, like, you can tell more when there's more paint going onto it. So, bang, there we go. Feet are done. No rest for the weary, says Mecca. No rest for me at all. Um, <laughs> let's see here. think I might be able to get away with that. Paints it up a little bit too much, but I can get away with it, I think. Right. This bit. There's like specific things here that I'm looking for. I'm, I'm like doing this completely the other way around, but it's cool. Ah, that's the part that I wanted. Somebody's gonna see that and be like, I know it! I know it immediately! Just know it, it's coming. And no, it isn't the Guard Gundam, we've already done the Guard Gundam. Right, that is. Ooh. I'll have a look through chat in a moment, see if anybody's guessed. Hello to everyone that's watching, by the way. Hope you're enjoying. Blue hand plate narrows it down. Divisa says, oh, now I see. You guys should know this one already. I don't normally do too many from this, but I say that I've done quite a few from this sort of era. I reckon I can get that as that, and then number one can be, I think we'll do number one as white as well, just to, actually no, we'll, uh, we'll keep that like that. The Gundam from G Gundam, the main one. No, we've already done God Gundam. Looks nothing like this. I think that is why. I can't see the back of the suit. So now we go for the sides. Or is that the front skirts? Side skirts. Right. 
We got white. Oh, that's that's different to what I expected. That's that's gonna be totally different to what it should be. But we'll uh, we'll try and get as close as possible. Right, that is grey. Not that grey though. <laughs> we'll do that. It's not God Gundam, so shining. No, no, no. You know I wouldn't throw you guys out like that. Let's let's narrow it down. Let's narrow it down, right? It's something that's after wing. And, and G was before wing, so it narrows it down a little bit. Is that... Is it an astray? No. Strike Noir. No. Divisi is spot on here at the moment. You guys are getting warmer. Here we go. This is going to be a dead giveaway by the backpack here. Let's try... Let's try that. That should work. The wings should make it obvious. Yeah, the wings should make it obvious. Are we counting G unit? No. No, no, no. Not counting G unit. The only problem is I don't think you can get the colour separation on the torso here. It's going to be even more obvious with the weapons later on because I'm going to have to do so much customization to the weapons. Destiny! Yes! It's the Destiny. I've not done the crossbone yet, but yeah. Hello everyone in chat. Welcome to Exram. I've not done too many seed suits, so... <laughs> the only ones I've done are the Astrays, the... Uh, the Strike, and the Akatsuki. I'm trying to figure out how to do that. That line that it's got around the, the top, and the fact that the bottom of the torso here is that dark red. Bingo! So everybody got that before it was done. The thing is, I need to, I need to do decals here for this. Let's see if I can get anything that looks remotely like what I'm after here. So I think if I can get something that stretches pretty far, I can just use that just to go across the torso, even if it's not like super accurate. I reckon if I pick that, and then just go around with it, let's do, the colour is that weird kind of like blue, but not blue, but kind of pale blue, it's trying to, it's kind of like this, about, about there, maybe, maybe a little bit, a little bit more greyish, yeah, about that, right, and then we wrap, rotate it, we'll try, oh no, I can't scale it. Uh-oh. Guys, help. I'm going to have problems here. It's it's not going to... No. <laughs> I can't do it. Can't do it. I have to try something else. Design. Um, let's try something to mimic it. Um, how can I get this to work? I'm, I'm just going to have to do lines and deal with it. So, that sounds terrible if you take it out of context. Um... Let's try that just to give it a little bit of style. The thing is, it's not... There we go, it's wrapping now. So if I... Can we offset that just a little bit and then rotate? Th that will work. I can make that work. <laughs> right, two was was the same. So we got this, this blue going on here. About, about there. Maybe a little bit brighter. There we go. Design, symbol, and then it was... Oh, which one was it again? Kind of should have remembered. Oh, no. Can I just go back to the other one quickly? What was the design for it? Oh, it's that one. The Graphic. I've gone past it again already, haven't I? There. We're just... Scale, wrap, rotate, offset. About there. And then we'll just offset it again. Just a little bit. Come on. There we go. And then we just rotate just that tiny bit. I don't think the scale's right here. 
or the offset. Come on. About there. Okay, there we go. That that looks kind of similar. Hey, Moody, sorry about earlier since I tried. Dude, it's cool. It's cool. I, from what I saw, you were totally fine and within your rights, so it's cool. Don't worry about it. As long as, as nobody's, like, super tilting still, it's fine. I was more worried about people tilting than anything else because it just looked, like, unnecessary. It's, like, people freaking out. For anyone who wants to know, it's just some stuff in GBO. Right, let's... From what I saw from your POV, it's fine. Uh, John says, what happened? People got tilted during match, and as a result, we lost more points. That's the basics of it. It's in chat at the moment if you want to go find out. I'm not going to put anything else in there, because knowing me, I might get shouted at by somebody on either side. I say one thing, and the next bit, somebody's like, you're taking sides! It's like, no, I'm not. I'm just saying what I saw. Right, so we've got the, uh, the V-Fin going on here. We've got the head camera. It's always GBO, says Haku. Yeah, it's, uh, it's people just getting tilted. Tensions heat up. People think that, you know, it's like, oh, you did something wrong, and it's just like, no, I... There was, there was more than one party in the wrong. <laughs> Let's give me the head crest. And then we got the face here. Face. I can't do the uh, the red how I would expect, so I'm going to have to do it there instead. Have the red behind the eyes, and then we got the red around the mouth. And then we've got the eyes here which are that bright green so we gotta oh there we go so that's a little bit different to uh previous suits but that is the destiny i hope they add more torso options with orbs and stuff i know right hopefully they will let's let's tune this up and we'll uh we'll give it its weapons and stuff and uh we can have a laugh let's see mod alloy engine reinforced reinforced ion engine Let's do that one first. We've got metal plating. I'm trying to go for the stuff that gives me the most. Microcontroller. Does microcontroller one give me? Yeah. Energy capacity, physical. No. One. There we go. Heat turbines. Gives me a little bit more acceleration there. Uh, <laughs> fuel burn rate. That might be better. And then we've got fuel save. Fuel recharges faster. Can I get... Enhancements 2, long range 2, let's go enhancements 2, and then we'll do... Hmm. We'll do enhancements 1, architect, armored frame, support frame, turret frame, reinforcer, siege. Uh, we'll do... We'll do striker. I've never done striker before. And then we'll try physical... Accuracy targeting, and... Arms master. We'll take that out for a spin. Going back to sleep. Have a good one. Thanks, Haku. Hope you get well. What a beautiful Gundam, says Alex. It's okay. Let's try. Uh, Destiny Gundam. I tried getting as accurate as possible. We'll do the weapons now, like I said. So the Destiny Gundam has a lot of weapons here. We'll go through each one slowly and try and get it as accurate as possible. Start off with the, the, uh, the rifle, I think. I was going to say sword there, but the rifle is more or less just that, but in white and black. So we'll do the black first and then we'll do the white elements and the, the grey bits. Right, so we got that. Right, that is going to be white. And then, I think two is going to be white, and that's it. <laughs> is there any way I can get the, uh... ah, there we go, targeting lens there, number four. Do that in green. Okay, so that's the rifle, more or less, done. Then we've got uh, the anti-ship sword here. Which I'm gonna do. Oh my God, that's paint. Uh, 
the anti ship sword is a huge thing, so it's gonna it's gonna be like that really. I could make it like that, but we'll we'll do this big boy, and then we'll uh, we'll paint it up to look totally different. So it's it's that weird pale blue. It's gonna be, have to be a custom color. We'll do custom two here. We'll go edit style. It's sort of this weird baby blue almost. Give it a little bit of gloss and a little bit of metallic just to make it shiny. It's a little bit more. It's a little bit more purple. Yeah, about there. And then we do the same with the handle. I think the, the thin one fits, says mask. Okay, let's try that then. Uh, I don't know. It just doesn't leave much room. You see, I'm, I'm trying to get... Because of the, uh, the way the actual blade fits. You know, hang on. Because I've got to do... It's got to be a huge beam part here. The way that it works, so if we do like custom style three, edit custom style three, and we do that as that crazy sort of pink that we have for blades. It's like super reflective. Let's try and make it a little bit more metallic. Can we, can we get any shine on that? Is that too glossy though, or too metallic? I'm not quite sure. Can't see the shine on it. We'll just assume that that's right. <laughs> Then we've got the uh, the giant cannon on the other side, which can more or less be that, which is green. So we've got this dark green going on here. It's more or less that colour, and it's also red at the same time, so we've got to go, go with that part as the red. So we've got dark red, and then the rest of it is dark green. Similar packs to the, uh, the strike. And then what we'll do is we'll... Because I did the same for the strike when I made that ages ago. We'll make the barrel black. I think we'll leave it at that. And we'll give it heat damage. And then that is more or less it. We can make the beam boomerangs, but there's no real point to it. And the uh, the palm weapons, I suppose I could make them, but I'd be making uh, boxing gloves on the top of them. I wonder if there's any way of getting around that. Like if I go assembly and go hand like that. What about the, the hand cover? Do I have to have that or can I cancel that out? No, it looks like I have to have it. The only other way would be to do something like that, but it, it wouldn't fit. Yeah, I don't think we'll be doing that then. So we've got we've got some elements here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure I save that. Uh, I don't want to reset data. Let's, let's just take that out for a spin. Mission. Start mission. See how this baby looks. Destiny fingers as Devisia. Yeah, that weapon was always really weird. But I mean, at least it looks the piece, kinda. As much as I can get it. It's immune! We got that, we got the rifle. Which we can use to pirate stuff from range. Uh, and then we got the bazook. Which does look pretty cool. So we'll uh, go ahead and use that for a little bit. Ooh! That hit harder than the previous one. Okay, maybe not on the big boys. I wonder if I can stagger my uh, my lunges. Oh, come on. Whoa! Did you guys see that bug with that the uh, the enemy that was stuck on the rock there? Its corpse went all over the place. Let's see if I can do that again. Oh, that was weird. Might have to report that. So guys, you got a problem. Out of energy was that. Boop. 
And there's another relay tower. Okay, now we just have to wait for the, uh, the last bit to open here, and then away we go. Pose and shoot, pose and shoot, says Mask. <laughs> it's Destiny in a nutshell. Oh, he's immune at the beginning. Uh-oh. Oh my god! I'm just downing him really fast here? Don't think he likes energy weapons. What about the, uh... Oh no, he's using that attack. <coughs> Excuse me. What if he likes the big bazooka? Not that much. Seems like it gets his health off quite fast. Oh boy. Oh! Is that crashed? I thought that had crashed then. We were close. What happened there? Is that it? When we beat him, everybody else just goes away? I don't think that's right. That when you when you kill the main guy, all of his enemies, that all well, his minions that are surrounding him go away. That's weird. Should still have to fight them before the uh, the mission ends, really. Because otherwise, what's the point? You know, Wu lag says the VC. I know, right? It's like um, I hate it about like I don't know how many people are. are up to speed up like Game of Thrones or something but it's the same deal with taking out the uh, the Night King in Game of Thrones he's got a huge zombie army and then next minute they take one guy out kills all the zombies it's just there's no fun what's the point I just I know from now on that I should go for the boss and not the cannon fodder and I'll still win you know it's a bit upsetting that maybe if the devs see that they can make it so it's not like that right let's uh Let's finish up here. So we've got last one. Again, we're doing the uh, same thing we normally do. Choosing a suit and then just going for it. So we'll uh, sub elements here. Make sure that's all grey or black, whatever. Black normally works best. All armor, white. And then what we do is we go ahead and ch start changing parts. This one, I think will be good like that. Although we, we could possibly try something like that, but I don't think it'd work as well. It's not really a V-fin. Like, none of these are V-fins, but that one seems to be closer to the traditional stuff. Next, fine. Torso, ooh. That one might work. Right, uh, center of torso. It's a little bit flat compared to the most stuff that I've, I've had. Maybe the standard one? Oof. Hard to really choose. Oh, even that one. That one might work well. Okay, let's try that one. Building stuff says Nightmare. Yeah. It does make sense that the minions die when the boss dies. Heard about it. Brother went on a massive tirade since the series was the last good thing that he and our mother enjoyed before she passed. Oh, sorry to hear that, Devisia. Yeah, Thrones really upset me recently. I keep on... I keep it away from uh, you guys because I don't know how many of you guys are into it. But, like, uh, I was going ape with everybody else over the, uh, the, the defeat of the Night King recently just because of how terrible it was. It's, it's really bad. It's like they, they hyped this guy up to be like Death Incarnate. And then he gets taken out so easily. It's it's just so stupid. It's like when you spend seven seasons building somebody up like that, you don't just kill them off like super fast. The way that it was all done was just terrible. I'm not going to get into this now because otherwise I'll just be like, ah, for the rest of the stream. No, I'll just be ranting and raving. Let's 
see if I can get this done quite quickly here. That should be fine. Actually, no, that shouldn't be fine. Um, uh, can I, uh, oh, I'll use that. that that's kind of cool. What are you talking about? The Game of, game of Thrones? Yeah, just a little bit. We're on about because we, we beat one of the bosses just. And one of the bosses went down like super fast. A bit too fast. It was like, I defeated him and then all of his minions died. And I'm just like, oh, that was kind of disappointing. It just means that I have to go for the boss now. Instead of anybody else. No, it, was, it kind of... It ruins the fight a little bit. Because now I know that I don't have to go for the, uh, the other enemies. I can just go for that one guy in the crowd and then we're good. So, it's like, what's the point? Let's see here. I think that one might work. It's not really... It's not like that, though. It's it's awkward. Maybe? Maybe that will do. Are you making a Gundam or any mobile suit in particular? Yeah, the idea nightmare is that we just do this. I build up a suit and while I'm building up, you just try and have a guess and see whether you get it right by the end. Normally what happens is everybody starts guessing when there's color going into it because they can see shapes appearing and they're like, oh, okay, this is... I can kind of see where this is going. And then once the paint is added, that's when you get an idea of, of what suit it is or you start guessing. I also give little hints out every so often. I normally do like three suits a night, so this is the last one for tonight. Let's see here. That's correct. Every little detail counts on these as well. Try and get them as accurate as I can. Let's see here. This one's going to be interesting because it'll be a big giveaway, I imagine. Actually, well, let's see. Okay, that kind of works. Kind of works if I just do that and then go... It's not exactly that, though. I'm going to have to make a custom color for this. Do custom style 6. Edit style 6. And then we'll go... It's about that. And then we'll we'll try and about that ground type. No, no, no. I'm new to Gundam. Either way, I love the enemies more. No, we'll uh, we'll try and go over this as uh, as it progresses. That's gonna be red. I'll give you guys a hint, it's after seed. After seed and after age. So it's none of that. John's right. John's right already. John was like super fast on that. Just bang, there you go, done. No competition there at all. <laughs> we're just, uh. We're just going through the motions now, trying to finish up these colors. I was thinking either build strike or build burning, says Devisia. People were on point today. Super fast. That blue is a little bit lighter than it should be for that part, but it's cool. It doesn't matter. Actually, I need to change that part based on... Well, that, that should be... Lower. I'm trying to get that part to be red. Maybe that? Ah. That'll work. What's your opinion on Unicorn Gundam? What, on the actual suit itself or the series? It's 
See if I can get this to uh, to line up here. That's gonna be red. The suit first and foremost. It's crazy. the The idea for it is like super overpowered. I do like the the design of it. It's just it becomes really overpowered by the end of its story. That has to be yellow there. It's not going to match up torso-wise there, but... I'm trying to get it, like, super accurate here, and it's a bit awkward. That's going to be that, that kind of colour. This has to be red. That bit, and... The bottom bit of the red and dark blue. I like the unicorn mode design. Destroy mode, not so much. I do like the destroy mode, just because it kind of looks like the, uh, the it has like classic Gundam silhouette to it, but it's just the overpoweredness of it. It's, it's crazy, the fact that when you when you look at how it can bend time now, according to the, the NT movie, it's like, wait, what? Yeah, I can just dismantle suits with a wave of its hand. Just bang, next minute. Yep, that suit's dismantled. Give it a yellow crest there. And then the face, we've got red again around the eyes. A bit like the uh, the Destiny. We've got the chin. Then we've got the blue eyes. So I need those eye covers to be same blue. So we'll just boop. Actually, that doesn't look too good. So we'll try cyan, light blue, dark blue. I think that one's going to give us the best blue glow out of that. That's as close as we can get that. So. Away we go. Unicorn mode is really cool. Kind of like the bloodshot vein design. Is that build burning? Yes it is. So what we do here is we we rename this to... Uh, what was it? Build And then we'll select that and we'll edit it. Cheap to with the picture. No, no, no. The picture is of the uh, the God Gundam. It's what the, the Burning Gundam ends up being based on a little bit. The God Gundam is slightly different. It, it's more awesome. <laughs> so what we need to do here is have this all on punch. And then try and make the, uh, the gloves look like the... On fire, and the only way we can do that in this really is just by going orange and having the orange be like highly reflective. Really, I should have done the uh, the blue parts orange. I think I'll have to change those too. Can we go physical here. Was the two forty eight, two thirty eight, two forty eight, right? Exoscale. Let's do that one. Improved neural. And then we'll do. A little long range. I want something that increases the boost. And maybe shields. Let's do shields. Fuel save and enhancements just for the sake of it. And then architect will do combat frame. And then we'll do kinetic might one. Kinetic, kinetic might two doesn't give us anything. Oh, that's terrible. We'll do accuracy targeting. Too bad you can't build a Zaku. I know, right? Right, so what we'll do is, in frames, we'll turn the blue into orange. I just remembered it. We go into armors for that. Armors. So here now, right, we need to go to the torso. Then go to paint. And where it's two, edit style, select that. Is it custom? Yeah, that's it. There, we edit it and we're going to make it that like fiery reddish yellow. Try and make it a little bit. There we go. So we've got the fire wheel going. It's, it's hard to emulate that, but that's as best as I can get it. 
Right, then we got weapons. The only thing this needs is punching gloves. Big punching gloves. I know it has like beam sabers and stuff, but at least I think I remember it having beam sabers. We'll give it fire damage. Actually, no, we'll give it physical. We got the grip. We got the fists. All we need to do is paint this. It's going to look terrible, but we can uh, we can only hope for the best given the limitations of this game. So what we'll do is we'll go copper here. And then we'll edit copper. Custom style. Pattern, pattern option. No. We'll have to do custom. Let's try that. Select style. This is as, as much as we can do it. Like, I could go, like, super crazy with the non-metallic thing here. The problem is it looks really pale. Although, because I've got, like, super shine on it, it's not too bad. I don't know. That gives it reflectiveness. The other doesn't, but it does make it reflect a tiny bit. Yeah, we'll have it, we'll have it halfway. It's, it's really hard to emulate. We'll just give it that and go with it. Right, mission. Start. Last one of the night. Let's go and punch things. Alternatively, I could have done it looking like Fumina's suit, the um, the winning Gundam, where it attaches the, the big, massive fist to its hand. That would have been cool. Although he's just got big orange blocks on his hands. <laughs> Looks so crap. I can't do it any other way, though. Ooh. Oh, forgot I wasn't locked on. I wish I could have like a kick or something. That'd be cool. Mix it up a little bit, but yeah, at least it works. Have you seen the schoolgirl Gundam? The noble Gundam? Yeah. I think I actually have the kit of that. I made it and then uh, did it in metallic because it's the uh, the Neo Sweden mobile suit from G Gundam. The only G Gundam suit I don't have in kit form is the Master Gundam. I'll have to pick that up sometime. Master Gundam and Foon Psyche. If you use the orange drill, you would literally have safety codes, says Alex. <laughs> what, I'll paint some orange and white? I, I, I really wish we could, like, make these glow or something. I, I asked the devs, can we get emissive materials? But I don't think they're the point of the men. Or at least not yet. I really want, like... The ability to have things glow, even if we can't get beam sabers, just having emissive materials would be a really easy implementation, and it would make up for it. I just want the ability to have giant glowing fists that I can smack someone in the face with. It'd be so funny! Now the problem with this fight is, as we've just addressed, because all I need to do is hit the big guy... My frame rate's going to tank a little bit. But all I need to do is hit the big guy. And as long as I kill him, it doesn't matter about everybody else. So it's kind of upsetting now because it means that nobody else is really a threat. Or deserves my attention. Because the, that's what the player is going to do. If the player finds a quicker and easier way of doing something, they're going to just resort to it all the time. The only problem is getting the lock on him again now because it's kind of way. Oop. See, why should I focus my attention even though the little guys are there and they're still taking damage when I don't mean to? What's the point of focusing on them when I can just focus on him? Burning Holy Fires is Residence. <laughs> hey, Residence. Like, he's taking his own troops out here. There we go, he's dead. And so are his minions. 
These creatures remind me of something from Warhammer 40,000. What, the, the Tyranids? What do you think of the Crossbone gun, then? I absolutely love the Crossbone. One of my favourite designs. I wish they'd actually make Crossbone as an anime. Just picked up the high grade of it before the real grade comes out. Want to pick up the real grade. I'm in the process of kit bashing the, uh, the high grade with the high grade X Gundam. To do the, uh, the custom that I have in Gundam Breaker 3. They'll spark in there. Let's try and get him in a good pose at the end. Ah, oh, I've got him like end punch there. Doesn't look too good, but. So there we go. That was going over for people who have just joined us. You just missed out on the build burning, the Destiny Gundam, and the Wing Zero EW. And before that, we did the God Gundam. The Epion and the Transient Gundam. So, we still got a lot of spots to fill up here. We, we're up to 8 at the moment. And there's 32 spots to fill up. And even then, I'm probably just going to overwrite stuff and start again. So, until the game comes out, stay tuned for next time where we make some more Gundams. And see how they look in here. I'll see you next time. Bye!